What's up guys? One of the many things I like about NVChat is that it comes with a functional yet fully customizable theming. Together with a proper terminal like Kitty, you can truly make it sexy. And in this video, we're going to turn your terminal from this piece of shit to a place of joy and inspiration. We are going to cover how do themes work in NVChat. We're going to look at fonts and how to bring them into Kitty and look at my own configuration and you get a little bonus from me. So let's jump in. So as I said, and WeChat comes with their own theming system. It's called Base46. And when I scroll down on the GitHub page, then I see setup, doop de doop de doop de do configuration, default theme table. So you have two tables in this in this base 46 thing. You have base 30, which is for the UI. I mean, the documentation right here, like yes, base 30 for the UI is used for general UI around NeoVim. Then you have base 16, which is used for syntax highlighting. And what do we have down here? And every theme you have in NVChat is just some variation of configuration of those tables. Okay. And then the interesting part to me is we have an optional section here where it says overriding or adding highlights. And yeah, if you want to do that, you go into the chat RC in your NeoVim configuration, which looks like this. You have the chat RC right here. This is what comes with NVChat. And by default, it looks like this. And you have here, you have the little HL underscore overwrite. And when you read it, you see that it's called comment italic true. So when I comment this one out and save, you see that it comments turned italic. Okay. So this is the place where it set up things like that in your chat RC. So every theme you apply will always have this HL override configuration inside. Now the question is where do comment and add comment, where do these directives come from? Well, those are actually tree set commands, or as they call it here, captures and you also have variables and you have constants and modules you can you can define any anything with tree sitter as you're liking so for here we just kept it simple here we kept it simple and we only made the comments italic but you you are, you are completely free to apply here whatever you want and any theme you choose will be overridden by this hl over override section right here so now let's go to my chat RC to go from this ugly thing right here to something a little bit more beautiful. So if I go and I just copy over my chat RC configuration and then save, then you see the colors change and then you see it's still italic because it's the configuration. I don't really do much here. I just, you know, I look for keywords and I define some, some method syntax highlighting. And if I go now back to person CS, you see, it looks exactly as the example that I showed before. So what you see now is types are bold, methods are italic. So is true for any keywords right here, but it's it's still not the looky look, right? To make it even better, we got to change the font. So first thing we need to do is we're going to need to go to nerdfonts.com and download the font that we're interested in. And we're going to have to have nerd fonts because nerd fonts have the symbols to make NeoVim look beautiful. The next step is we're going to install these fonts. And on Linux, you just move them to the home.fonts directory. And on Mac, you're going to move them to the home slash library slash fonts directory. And on Windows, you just right click and install. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open Kitty. Kitty is my personal terminal emulator of choice. It's GPU accelerated and I really like the configuration, how straightforward everything is. And it comes with really nice features. So now I'm going to go into my Tmax session. I'm already in my fonts directory right here. You see it and you see I have a couple of, fon of fonts installed already, but I like to use JetBrains and there's no JetBrains font. So what we're going to do is we go to nerdfonts.com. As I said, we're going to download, and then we're going to download JetBrains. There we go. The JetBrains Mono Nerd Font. Download that thing. Open it. And then you see here that we have the zip file. I extract the zip file. And now I have this directory right here. I prefer 
to use oil.nvim to do file work actually. So I go to downloads, here's my directory and I just copy everything or cut it out even. I'll go back to my, where is it, fonts uh, directory and just paste it here, save everything, saved. And now I can close Kitty and open it again and go to Kitten, choose fonts. With this command right here, I now have a nice little menu that lets me choose from all the all the fonts that I installed. And if I now type in JetBrains, there we go. And now I can fully customize how I want my font to look like in a kitty terminal. And I choose Brains Mono, I choose this one. And if I hit enter now, then you see you have four base categories of fonts. You have regular, bold, italic, and bold italic. And you can now choose what exactly you want to set for those four categories, right? I hit now R on the keyboard, and now I choose those regular, and I like to have it thin on regular, I hit enter. I want to use, for bold, I want to use extra bold, enter again, look, it changed already, then for italic, I want to have thin italic, there we go, and for bold italic, I want to have extra bold italic. And now that I'm done, I hit enter again, and then ask me if I hit enter again to modify the kitty conf and use the new font. So I say yes, done. And see, it's changed already. It's changed already. And now if I go back to the other terminal and I close kitty and open it again, maximize it, go to my machine, reattach, and then you see that is beautiful. So this looks really nice, and as you remember, we when we did the kitten choose font command and then decided to use JetBrains, it wrote into the kitty.conf file. And the kitty.conf file sits in the config directory. When I go nvim, there we go, config kitty, and there's the kitty.conf file. Boom, and when I open it, this is my configuration. So nothing really special here. We have a font size. I make it extra big for the YouTube videos on this machine. I use background opacity one because I already manage the opacity of my windows with Hyperland, so I don't need to have an extra opacity setting or some over overriding here for Kitty. The rest is not even that super interesting. What else do we have? What else do we have? Yeah, the selection might be interesting. I, I use pink for selecting stuff because it's the most aggressive uh, color that doesn't indicate an error. So I use this one. Uh, you can think about this, whatever you want. I don't care. I don't care, I'm pretty. What else do we have? What else do we have? Foreground color, uh, cursor color, and here's the font section. And this is written automatically by the kid and choose font command. Bonus time. Bonus number one. The first thing that you see right here is the, is the, the diagnostics, right? The diagnostics. Whoopsies. Diagnostics are in line. This is ugly. This is default and VChat, and this is not what we're going to do. What we want to have is this one right here. Beautiful, tiny inline diagnostics only in the line where the diagnostic actually occurs. And I already made a video about this. Check it out here. Bonus number two. The next thing is when you observe the cursor right here, you see it's kind of boring, right? It's not jumping, right? It's not what you're used to. You're used to the thing being jumping around, right? And yeah, you know, when I showed you my kitty config, it's the same and it is because there, there's one command I didn't show you yet. And this one command is this one. Cursor trail one. Cursor trail one makes the thing jump around. So if I close this one, Close kitty, open new kitty, go again into the kitty config, and you see already, right? It's jumping around nicely, go to the kitty conf, go all the way up, all the way down. It is it is this one command. Cursor trail one, put this in the kitty config and you're good. And that's it for today.